All right, guys, so this is going to be a review, an exam review for Chapter 15 on the Special Senses. Please be sure you have a pen, a paper, or just open up a Word document or a Pages uh, document. And uh, be sure to write down the questions that I'm, uh, that I'm going to be asking. Uh, again, please do not email me for uh, a copy of this document that I'm using uh, or for the answers. Uh, I want you guys to, the purpose of this is for you guys to be aware of the questions that I'm asking and to open up your books and search for these uh, on your own time. This way you're going to be learning uh, the material in addition to learning the material. you also come across other information that are likely to be on the exam. Remember, all these questions are not necessarily going to be on your exam. Uh, they're likely to be on the exam and again, similar questions are likely to be on the exam. Uh, but uh, don't expect the exact same questions to be on there. So again, another reason why you want to open up your books and search for these answers. As you're going to be doing that, you're going to come across information. And uh, again, when answering these questions, uh, it's going to help you uh, when you're sitting down in front of your own exams. Uh, so let's get started. So um, as always, again, you expect to see pictures on your exam. So for example, this is for the ear. So be sure that you know where the external ear is and the middle ear and the inner ear. So again, this is the external ear uh, all the way where you start from the oracle. So again, when you, let's look over here at the external ear right over here. So we have the oracle over here, or it's also known as the pinea. Uh, this is uh, this part's the helix, and this is the lobule. Uh, so typically, again, traditionally, uh, most people got this part, the, the labial pierced. Now you have, you know, people pierce all parts of your body. In addition to that, all parts of your ear. Um, and then this is, would be your external acoustic meatus or your ear canal. And then right over here is your middle ear. So uh, what separates the external, uh, your auditory canal from the middle ear is this tympanic membrane. Uh, and then you have these uh, these bones over here, the ossicles, uh, and then the, you have uh, your uh, inner ear over here, okay, which is also referred to as the internal ear or the labyrinth. Um, notice we have this uh, pharyngeal tympanic uh, tube over here as well, um, and uh, let's see, I think that's about it right now. So be sure keep in mind that. Uh, when you're studying for this, cover up these uh, terms over here and be sure you're able to label them. Uh, this is what you're going to be seeing. Um, so as we go down, again, this is a close-up of these uh, uh, your uh, inner ear and uh, your middle ear. So again, uh, again, make sure you know what these bones are, uh, which is this, the, the, the middle ear bone, the middle ossicle. This is the incus. Uh, it's also called the, the anvil. Uh, this is called the, the, the hammer or the malleus. And this is called the stirp or the, the stapes. Uh, and then when you look at the inner ear, we have uh, this thing that kind of looks like a snail shell over here. Uh, this is the, the cochlea. Uh, and then you have your, uh, when you look over here, this is the vestibule. And then you have the, the vestibular nerve. And so you have the cochlea and the cochlear nerve. And these are the semicircular canals over here. And uh, let's see, we have another photo over here. So this is for your eye. Uh, again, going back over here, make sure, again, Cover all these up and make sure you're able to identify all these structures. And moving forward to the next uh, next image, uh, this is for the eye. So again, make sure you're able to identify all the different parts. So again, this would be the sclera. Uh, and then we have this part here, which is the, the choroid retina. And this would be the retina over here. Um, and uh, this part as well, because remember, it's, it's, uh, it's cut, it's transected. Then we have uh, the, the fovea centralis over here. Uh, this would be the, the central uh, artery and vein of the retina, and you have the optical disc over here, the, the optic disc, I'm sorry, and then this is the, also known as the blind spot. And uh, this would be the part that the posterior segment, which contains the, the vitreous humor, and the anterior part where the aqueous humor would be over here, in this section over here. And uh, then we have the, the, the pupil, which is over here. And let's see what else. Uh, so this would be the ciliary body over here. And these are the suspensory ligaments that are attached to the lens. And uh, so let's, let's see, is there another photo? Uh, and then yeah, let's go on to this part over here. So uh, again, when you look at this, make sure you're able to identify uh, 
which way is light entering. So again, this is the pathway of light. It's going from here to here. And uh, the pathway of uh, signal output is going to be going the other way. Now, when you look over here, these are the ganglion cells down over here. All right. And then we have the bipolar cells over here. And these are the amacrine cells, these guys over here. And then we have the we have your rods and cones. So the purple ones are the rods, and these guys here are the cones. Remember, we have a lot more rods than we do for cones. And these are the pigmented layers of the retina. And so that's about it for uh, for the images. So be sure you know these images. Um, there's one more on the tongue. Uh, I don't. I didn't get a chance to put that up. So go over the the the. Um, the, the illustration of the tongue and make sure you're able to identify uh, where the taste buds are and the different parts of, uh, of it that's covered in your book. All right, so let's get started with the questions. Uh, so number one, where is the penia? Number two, which part has been traditionally pierced? I asked this earlier as I was going over. Uh, number three, where is the tympanic membrane? Number four, identify the incus, stapes, and the malleus. Number five, where are the semicircular canals located? Number six, which structure is the cochlea? Number seven, which structure is the organ of balance? Number eight, which structure contains the organ of corti? Number nine, which part connects the middle ear to the nasopharynx? Number 10, what separates the exterior and middle ear? What's the structure called? Number 11, which structure contains the, the, the saccule? Which structures detect linear acceleration? Number 13. Which part commonly gets infected, especially in children? Number 14. What condition can autosclerosis lead to? Okay. What condition can autosclerosis lead to? Number 15. What is the receptor organ for hearing? Number 16, what is the central part of the bony labyrinth? Number 17, what, where does the tympanic membrane transmit sound vibrations to? Number 18, the hair cells in the macula are responsible, responsible for detecting what? Okay. Number 18, what are the hair cells in the macula responsible for detecting? Number 19, which type of deafness can result from listening to very loud music uh, if you're uh, using these in-ear headphones or if you're using a lot of it or any type, even if you go to multiple concerts, you're standing next to the speakers. Uh, so again, loud noises uh, that leads to deafness. Okay, what do you call that? Number 20, which type of deafness results from the fusion of the ossicles. Number 21, what can tinnitus result from? What can tinnitus result from? Number 22, what condition can, uh, can conduction deafness result from? What condition can conduction deafness result from? Number 23, where can ear stones be found? Number 24, what are hair cells in the crista ampullaris responsible for detecting? Okay, so again, these questions, again, you might be asked these questions and you'd have to identify these structures. Uh, so again, imagine if these are all blanks and they're all labeled A, B, C, D. And again, these questions are asked, you have, you'd have to, I don't know, label them. Uh, so which part connects the middle ear to the nasopharynx? Uh, so, I don't know, if this was labeled C, then you would say, oh, the answer is C. Okay, so uh, let's move forward to our next set of questions. Let me zoom out a little bit. And, okay. So, let's go over here now. All right, we did that. Sorry for that. Moving forward, so what uh, what protects and gives shape to the eyeball? Okay, what protects and gives shape to the eyeball? What provides blood to the majority of the eye? Okay, what provides blood to the majority of the eye? 
um, you can talk about the blood vessel as well as the layer. Okay. What pr part provides detailed color vision? What part provides detailed colored vision? Number four, which part does the optic nerve exit the eyeball? Which part does the optic nerve exit the eyeball? Number five, which is a pigmented and neural layer? Number six, which part gets replaced during cataract surgery? What gets replaced during cataract surgery? Which part contains the vitreous humor? Number eight, where is the sensory layer of the eye? How about this one? Which part contains the aqueous humor? Number nine, which structure focuses light rays? Number 10, what helps maintain intraocular pressure? Number 11, which part or parts uh, is or are affected by glaucoma? Number 12, a deficiency in which vitamin is believed to lead to night blindness. All right, let's see, moving forward. Oh yeah, identify all types of cells and path, uh, pathway of lights and uh, signal input. So again, just imagine these are all blanked out and you'd have to identify what all these structures are. So be, be sure you're able to do that. All right. Uh, first question, do olfactory epithelium contain chemically sensitive cilia or microvilli? Number two, do taste buds contain chemically sensitive cilia or microvilli? Number three, is a conjunctiva a mucous membrane? Number four, does the pigmented layer of the retina store vitamin A? Number five, where does the optic disc form a blind spot? Number six, what allows for precision eye movement? Number seven, where are ciliary muscles found and how are they controlled? Number eight, how does contraction of these muscles, or I'm sorry, number eight, uh, what does contraction of these muscles do? What does contraction of the ciliary muscles do? What's their function? Number nine, what is refraction? Number 10, which chamber of the eye is filled with vitreous humor? Number 11, what role does the neural layer of the retina play? Number 12, does light pass through the entire neural layer of the retina? Number 13, what is the function of the lens? Number 14, how are cells in the cornea and lens maintained since they are avascular? Number 15, would you expect to see red or green cones in the fovea of uh, colorblind individuals? Okay, would you expect to see red or green cones in the fovea of colorblind individuals. Number 16, why is it hard to differentiate color when it's dark? Number 17, what causes night vision to be fuzzy? Number 17, what causes night vision to be fuzzy? Number 18, how are we able to distinguish colors? Number 19, as lens elasticity decreases with age, what problems can you expect most to, uh, for people to face? Uh, as lens elasticity decreases with age, what problems can you expect most people to face? Would a photoreceptor hyperpolarize when it's stimulated? Number 21, what does overlap in the visual field of our eyes allow us to do? Number 22, what would cause both pupils to constrict if you only shine light in one eye? Okay, what would cause both pupils to constrict if you only shine light in one eye? Number 23, why can we see so many colors with only three types of color detecting cones? Number 24, what does color vision or why does color vision have better re resolution than night vision? Why does color vision have better resolution than night vision? Number 25, do the axons of the ganglion cells form the optic nerve? Number 26, what's the first way station of the eye?
What's the first way station of the eye? Number 27. What's the function of tarsal gland secretions? Number 28. What is another term for the primary visual cortex? Number 29. Can vitamin supplements reverse malnutrition induce night blindness? Number 30. What role does rhodopsin play? What role does rhodopsin play? Number 31. Why can corneas be transplanted without a worry of tissue rejection? Number 32. In the visual pathway to the brain, what structure does the optic radiations project to? Number 33. Is the sense of vision fully functional at birth? Okay. Is the sense of vision fully functional at birth? Number 34. What role does the suprachiasmatic nucleus play? Number 35. What are the first vestiges of the eyes in the embryo called? Number 36. Can the optic chiasma be seen with an ophthalmoscope? Number 37. Are ganglion cells found in the retina? Number 38. What is the chemical composition of rhodopsin? Number 39. Is the tarsal plate connected to the levator palpebrae? Number 40. Which eye muscle elevates and turns the eye laterally? Number 41. List the order of structures in which light passes the eye. Number 42. What would damage to the medial rectus muscle result in? What would damage to the medial rectus muscle result in? Number 43. Does visual processing in the thalamus contribute significantly to night vision? Does visual processing in the thalamus contribute significantly to night vision? Number 44. Is the synapse of the olfactory nerve with the mitral cells called glomerulus? Number 45. Chili peppers stimulate which type of receptors? Chili peppers stimulate which type of receptors? Number 46. What is anosmia? How can this condition develop? Number 47. Why do we get a runny nose when during and after crying? Why do we get a runny nose during and after crying? Number 48. Why is the ability to taste impaired when someone may have a severe cold? Number 49. What gives us the ability to distinguish so many types of smells? Number 50. Briefly discuss homeostatic values for taste preference. Number 51. Are olfactory receptor cells replaced throughout life? Number 52. What is bitter taste elicited by? Number 53. Which organ has the most number of sensory receptors? Number 54. How long does it take for complete adaptation to occur in gustatory receptors? Number 55. Are taste buds found in filiform papillae? Are taste buds found in filiform papillae? Number 56. Is it possible for pain to be one of the sensations of olfaction? Number 57. Which taste do alkaloids produced? Which taste do metal ions produced? Number 58. Do substances and solutions stimulate olfactory cells and taste buds? Number 59. Are olfactory receptor cells unipolar neurons? Number 60. Are the receptor membranes of gustatory cells taste buds? Is high frequency sound detected when the bacillar membrane is displaced near the base? Number 62. Name the three ossicles in the ear. Okay, name the three ossicles in the ear. Number 63. What is the name of the middle ossicle?
Number 64, does the apex of the cochlea hear sound in the range of 120 hertz? Number 65, describe the pathway of sound from the external ear until the brain perceives it. Describe the pathway of sound from the external ear until the brain perceives it. Number 66, what is the role of endolymph in the semicircular canals? Number 67, what is responsible for bringing about thrills when you ride a roller coaster? Number 68, what's the purpose of the pharyngeal tympanic tube? What's the purpose of the pharyngeal tympanic tube? Number 69, compare and contrast the macula and crista ampullaris. Number 70, what are the signs and symptoms of labyrinthitis? What are the signs and symptoms of labyrinthitis? Number 71, what is responsible for detecting the volume of sound? What is responsible for detecting the volume of sound? Number 72, would someone with the ability to hear in only one ear be able to localize the origin of sound? Would someone with the ability to hear in only one ear be able to localize the origin of sound? Number 73, explain why spotting reduces the amount of a head spin if used by a dancer if they are performing spins. Number 74, damage to hair cells near the oval window in the cochlear duct will result in the loss of hearing what frequency of sound? Damage to hair cells near the oval window in the cochlear duct will, will result in the loss of hearing what frequency of sound? Number 75, where are hearing receptors located? Where are hearing receptors located? Number 76, what is the receptor for static equilibrium? What is the receptor for static equilibrium? Number 77, to which passageway is the oval window connected? Number 78, what happens to the outer hair cells as sound waves increase in the organ of corti? What happens to the outer hair cells as the sound levels increase in the organ of corti? Number 79, what's a modiolus? Number 80, does information from balanced receptors go directly to the brainstem reflex center or visual cortex? Does information from balanced receptors go directly to the brainstem reflex center or visual cortex? Number 81. What does motion sickness result from? Number 82. Can medication enter general circulation via the nasolacrimal ducts? Number 83. Does the frequency of sound correlate to the quality of sound or loudness of sound? Does the frequency of sound correlate to the quality of sound or loudness of sound? Number 84. What is Meniere's syndrome? What is Meniere's syndrome? Number 85. What is the essential part of the macula involved in static equilibrium? What is the essential part of the macula involved in static equilibrium? Number 86. Do the cristae respond to angular acceleration and deceleration? Number 87, does sound localization require processing at the cortical level? Does sound localization require processing at the cortical level? Number 88, would cochlear nerve degeneration result in conduction deafness? Would cochlear nerve degeneration result in conduction deafness? Number 89, are ceruminous glands a modified African sweat gland? Are ceruminous glands a modified African sweat gland? Number 90. Is the fluid contained within the membranous labyrinth called perilymph? Number 91. What structure allows equalization of pressure in the middle ear? What structure allows equalization of pressure in the middle ear? 
Number 92, which part of the brain perceives sound? Which part of the brain perceives sound? Number 93, is it possible for a person born without a middle ear to hear sound with a hearing aid? Is it possible for a person born without a middle ear to hear sound with a hearing aid? Number 94, are hair cells in the spinal organ of the ear replaceable? Are hair cells in the spinal organ of the ear replaceable? Number 95, explain what glaucoma is, what are the signs and symptoms, and how is it treated? Okay, number 95, explain what glaucoma is, what are the signs and symptoms, and how is it treated? 96, what is strabis uh, strabismus? What is strabismus? What are the signs and symptoms? How is it treated? Number 97, what is Meniere's syndrome? What are the signs and symptoms? What conditions may precipitate it? And how is it treated? Yeah, I think I asked this before, you know, right over here in number 84. What is Meniere's syndrome? So again, add to it, what are the signs and symptoms? What conditions may precipitate it? And how is it treated? Number 98, what are cataracts? What are the signs and symptoms? How is it treated? All right, so that's it for uh, chapter 15 the, for the exam review. So I hope this helped you. If you uh, like these, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have questions, again, please don't uh, ask me for answers. Uh, if you guys are stuck, I will help you, but uh, try to help one another out. If you're not clear about, about one of these questions, uh, leave it in the comments below. Maybe somebody else can try to uh, help answer it, uh, answer the, you know, come up with an answer for you. Uh, I'll try to get to it if I see that you guys are not, uh, you know, converging to the correct answer. I'll definitely jump in and uh, try to steer you guys in the right path. Uh, but uh, be sure you open up your books and use it. I don't recommend you guys, you know, just searching these answers online. Again, when your instructors make up the, the exam, majority of the time they use the textbook uh, that, uh, or the material that they're using uh, to uh, write your exam. So use the books uh, to study for this. Uh, Additionally, uh, be sure to look at the pictures, as I mentioned. A lot of questions, they come off of exams. If you notice when you first started, uh, I asked a handful of at least a good, I think, 35, 40 questions right off from, from, these, uh, from the images that we looked at. Uh, so be sure you, you look at these images, uh, especially the ones that I, that I put up. Um, again, this, is, uh, this chapter is on the special senses. So you'll, you're going to have uh, questions about the eye. You're going to have questions about the ear. Uh, definitely. Uh, eyes and ears all the time. Tongue, eh, you might. Uh, nose, possibly. Uh, olfactory, you might, you may. Uh, but again, depending on what your book gives, go off that. Look at these images. So once again, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, thank you for your support. If you have specific questions about these, any of these questions, or you're having any difficulty within one of the subjects, uh, learning a concept, feel free to email me. I'll do my best to get back to you in a timely fashion. Best of luck on your exams. And once again, thank you so much for watching.